Get it on! What's going on with you? Everything's good, man. I've been training hard, teaching, doing seminars, getting ready to go to the DR and do a seminar. Okay. And uh, I took a break off. I got some tattoos done, so I haven't trained in two weeks. Okay. So I was sitting by the track, you know, trying to live through you <laughs> vicariously. <laughs> But everything's good, man. I've been in, uh, recently I was in uh, Stray Stump Magazine, which you know, K-Slaves Magazine. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I've been on several Sub-Zero DVDs. We just did one. We're filming another one now. Yeah. And uh, different things. we got these shirts coming out. I brought one for you, my brother. Okay. Just and, came what, from what your is, hood. And what, and what does this shirt say? I just came from your hood. Nobody knows you. Wow. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. Uh, did you copyright that? Because that's a high It's copyrighted, my brother. We got that's the hands of God, my logo sign on the sleeve. Now, everybody, this is a good friend of mine. I met him in Christus. Yeah, <laughs> yes, sir. Actually, and he was the head of, head of security in Christus. And I didn't know that this guy was the hands of God. And I was actually... <laughs> Watching the DVD and I was like, "Yo, that's my man from Crystals." And he was flipping everybody around. It was like yeah. five people that came to him. And he just flipped them around, dismantled them. Automatic. So, like, this guy right here doesn't <laughs> play. But can you tell him why I call you the hands of God? Please. Uh, the short, the shortest story is I pretty much hit hard and it's fast. You know, I mean, I studied 15 years. Okay. Uh, I have rank in Aikido, Judo, Jiu Jitsu, knife fighting, stick fighting, the sword, and kickboxing. Kickboxing. What you see me do, as far as the, the stuff you're talking about, yes. was several attackers. It's called Rondori. You trained under the same trainer as Steven Seagal. Yeah, I'm not going to name names because, yeah. uh, you know. Uh, yeah, Steve, one of Steven Seagal's top students, one of his three top students, yeah. uh, was the one holding down the dojos in California when he was doing his movies. Okay. So I was away at college. I started doing Aikido, which is a passive style that they were doing. When I came back to New York, I was introduced to this man. Yeah. And, uh, I saw what he was doing and pretty much joined from there. And that was, I don't know, that was, that was longer than 15 years ago, actually. And from, I did, from there, with training with him, I also did the knife, the stick, the sword. And uh, at a certain point, he decided he couldn't teach me anymore. It was like a movie kind of thing. You know, yeah. It was a little weird. And he passed <laughs> me on to his best friend in his inner okay. circle, who is uh, uh, the world's champion of jiu-jitsu, I think, even of last year. And I trained with him for a number of years, and they passed me on to his instructor, who's a 10-time world champion, older man, and I'm not going to go into their business or yeah. whatever. So I've, I've, luckily, I've been able to train with some of the best people in the world, if not the best, at each, each specific art. So I'm the youngest of the group. And again, so I thought it was, you know, kind of the onus was on me to come back and give back to the community. I go to yeah. Harlem, I go to Brooklyn, you know, I, I'm everywhere. Uh, three, three years ago, two years ago, I think it was, right? I went upstate and fought against people from Yugoslavia, England, Japan, Israel, Colombia, the different parts of Russia, you know, there's yeah. Russia, there's the Republic of Georgia, Kyrgyzstan, yeah. Turkestan, mm -hmm. and uh, the whole week, I think I only got thrown one time. What do you think about, like, because you you've changed in so many different avenues of the martial arts. Yeah. What do you feel about the mixed martial arts that's on the forefront right now, like, for instance, UFC? <laughs> yeah, like the UFC. Like, what do you <laughs> think of those like fights? Can you get I mean, in there? What's that going to come up? What do you, uh, I mean, I think, I think it's good for martial arts in general. And I think that uh, all of these guys are tough. To get in the ring and fight with somebody that's trying to take your head off, yeah. you're a tough individual. And that's what I'm saying about putting yourself out there, putting your ego on the line, you know, taking the chip off your shoulder. Um, philosophically, for me, we, we're different. I don't believe in martial art for a sport. Maybe okay. because I was raised a certain way. I believe in baseball for a sport, basketball, <laughs> bowling, soccer. Yeah. I'm a little old. I believe martial art is really uh, for one thing. And it's protecting yourself and going a little further than that, if you know what I mean. But yeah. as far as the USC is a tournament, I think it's terrific. I think it's helped the martial art community as a whole. And I think out of all those guys, I would say maybe the top 1%, I would say, are really, quote, unquote, about it. A lot of the other guys are tough and strong. I give all the credit to them. But they're pretty much banging each other. They're hitting each other. You don't see much of the, much of the technical side. Yeah. And I, I'm not one of these guys where technique is the whole thing. It's not. But it should be a majority of it. You should yeah. see both. You should see someone that's physically fit, that could take a punch, that has trained more than... Some of these guys only train three or four years and they jump in the ring. Wow. How much can you... And remember, you have people who study 25, 40, 50 years in one style. And wow. you're telling me you've trained in, you know, the, they, they like to do wrestling, you know, mm -hmm. collegiate wrestling. They do a lot of Thai boxing and jujitsu. Those are the main the three. King, yeah. Now, to get good at one of those, how long does it take? To get good at one technique, 
How long does it take? How long does it Tell take? Me. I mean, no, I, I mean that's yeah. it's a rhetorical question. So if a guy came charging at you right now and you was like, yo, I gotta do it. Because I remember one time you showed me, you was like, boom, boom, boom. And I was like, all right, all right. I mean, right, I mean there's I a lot it. of things. Like I said, it depends on who's doing the charging, how fast they're coming, where you are. I mean, me personally, the throws you see done, like yeah. in Ikea, you see uh, uh, Steven Scott taking throwing people. Yeah. And when you throw at people, this is the difference between sport, like we're talking about, yeah. and the street. When you throw somebody, and I, again, I don't want to be real negative about it, but you throw someone, you really should be throwing him into a fire hydrant, into a meter, maybe yeah. off a building, in front of a bus. <laughs> Make it count. Right? You know? well, yeah. But in order for people to practice safely, they came up with like judo and things that so you could throw someone on the mat and then he can get back up, he survives, you score a point. Mm -hmm. But okay. that's not what it was originally made for. Let's that's do a demonstration. Easy. Stun is going to come right now to you. <laughs> <laughs> and he's gonna I'm, try I'm to. Down for demonstration. Yeah, let's. So, we just want to see a demonstration. Like you want to do something light, like real light. Do, do, do something light. light. So here's one of those things. Like uh, one of the things people like to grab a lot, right? So guys, you're gonna grab. Just go slow. So one of the things you oh, do damn, right here is take this. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What is that? So go slow. Oh so, so I grab it. He goes to go slow, and I parry this. Look, I parry this into my other hand. Yeah. And see how I parry out of the way? Because yeah. once he moves in a re in a street situation, re reality of is if we're here and you move. I'm, I'm already hitting. Oh, oh, oh wow. my god. All right. So this is the parry, yeah? Yeah. He goes to grab me though, yeah? Do it again. Slow. I parry this right Bring into it back. His hand. Yeah. See this? Oh. oh. <laughs> if this is serious, I bring him down here. This would be worried about that fit. We can hear you. So this is right here, and I'm gonna stab him with the pen. Oh. Or, you know dudes always talking like they have the razor in your face? Yeah. Okay. Show the razor like you doing a razor stuff. Dudes have the like the razor to me, yeah? They're like you talking. Yeah. Right. Like this, top, this, this is a top here, yeah? So, 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 this is like parry, parry. If I want to break his, the bridge of his nose, this is a wow. hand the bridge of his nose, yeah? Uh, if I want to try to if I want to try to knock him out, I'm not going to hurt you. So, so, so. <laughs> this is a parry here, and this is going to be a, a When I chop, it's not my fingers. Yeah. It's, it's the ox in my hand. So can you can you show a female now? Yes, I know you do your training. Like, Kai. Uh, show what Kai can do to him. Any right female? Now. Oh, yes. come on. Go, Kai. Come on. Show yeah, uh, let me get a wow. good view. Well, let me get a know. good view. Uh, Kai, you stay right here. So when I walk off, you know dudes go, yo, man, and they grab you like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They grab my wrist as I'm walking. You see this here? Hey, I'm going to do this. Relax yourself. And this comes over this way. <laughs> and then again, it's right. Now here's the options. Many options. Knees again. Knees again. Knees again. Oh, I'm going to do the knees. I'm all about the knees. A denim jacket. Wow. Grab the denim jacket this way. You break Pull it over his head. Oh! Grab me. Just grab me on my wrist. You're gonna oh, match it up on top of his. Just like you're doing this. You see this? No, no. Control, and then you put your elbow over his forearm. So again, slow motion. He grabs. Just like this. You don't even gotta squeeze hard. Just like this. And just turn your elbow over his and down. Oh my! Ouch. This is called Nikyo. You see Steven Nikyo. Nikyo. Yeah. I'm gonna use that. That's right, Kaya. Now, slow motion. Come here, girl. <laughs> and then down. Oh, man. I, I think Kaya might try that on me Woo! right now. <laughs> Females, y'all need to watch this. Females, you need Very to call up Frank. Because this is some good. Learn it and teach somebody. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Wow. I feel like, I feel like Let's give it up for Frank. Yes. I want I want people to... I want people to know where you can you can see him on the Sub Zero uh, DVD. He's also coming out with his own instructional DVD. Yeah. yeah, he does personal training, but like he said before, only serious inquiries. Yeah, you know what I mean. So like, let females, you see this what he just showed Kaya. Changed my life. That <laughs> that was a simple move, and I and stunning. Did that really hurt or no, work? Seriously, you couldn't break your arm like that. Ooh. So females and wrists. But if I leave my number? Yeah, no, you can leave everything. We want you to do tell them everything. Tell them what you got coming up. You know what Websites, I mean? Websites, anything. We just hyping it up. You remember? You, you right yeah. now. This is your show. Nobody <laughs> wants to do anything to you. <laughs> Nobody. You know no comment. This is my man right here. You know what I'm saying? And I don't like to get him mad. And I I thought it would be very interesting for him to come up and tell people. And a lot of people that don't know how to protect themselves maybe can find how to protect themselves with Frank. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? So. You tell them your numbers and tell them where they can reach you at and everything. Oh, if you want to reach me, uh, one of the numbers you can reach me is 917-553-8921. And I'm located on 102nd Street on the corner of Jamaica, Jamaica Avenue. Yes. 
And uh, the website, I believe, is on the, on the construction now, but it's uh, Frank Shaw. My last name spelled S-H-A-W, so it's frankshaw.net. Wow. All right. And all you celebrities, man, getting them big for nothing people. <laughs> yeah. Frank's right wow. here, man. Won't you just buy him off? <laughs> yeah. Just Real buy him quick. for five years, and that's it. Yeah. He's yeah. done. He's like, you know what I mean? Get yeah. that big contract for him, and he'll protect you and do what it is. So let's give it up for Frank.